everyone. Welcome to SRH Access Live. We are out at our construction site of our new Frisco campus at the corner of Lebanon and the Toll Road. And I'm joined by Tyler Chapman, a senior project manager out here with Beck. Tyler, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we are standing outside what is going to be our movement science lab. And Tyler, this looks completely different from when we were here last time. Can you give us an update on some of the construction yeah, happening? Yeah, it, it's changed quite a bit. So we finished the uh, structural steel portion of the building. Uh, right now we're working on the exterior stud framing. Uh, the purple is the uh, the sheathing and they're waterproof that. And then the metal panels are coming on around there. Um, inside we're working on the mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection overhead. Uh, as soon as we get that all that done, we'll get the exterior glass installed, um, start working on the flooring and, and finishing up in there. Um, also out here, in the, we've got the uh, base for the rubber track board and, and getting ready to start install AstroTurf in the sports therapy field. It's a very noticeable part of the hospital if anybody's driven by. What are some of the design elements that make this special? Yeah, so the, the cool part is um, the, the metal panels and how this exterior wall, it actually cants out, so it's on, a, it's on an angle, and that angle changes depending on where you are in the building or in the in part of the structure. Um, in between the, the rows of the metal panels will be uh, LED lighting, so they'll, they'll have color changing capabilities, so you know you can do them pink for your breast cancer awareness month or, or whatever, change it up for whatever you want. Uh, the, the exterior of it, of it is really the eye popping part, but also the cool part on the inside, um, it's basically a big open gym. So uh, Kirsten and her team can do all of the, all the stuff that they need to do uh, and have exposed ceiling there. I uh, really kind of give that gym aspect feel to it. Yeah, let's head in, we're getting a little bit of a closer look. Obviously this is a really big space. Uh, is there a certain reason? I know you guys were talking about these are gonna be doors. Can you ex explain that a little bit? Yeah, so, so part of what they're gonna do in, um, is this, this concrete base right here will be a track so the, it'll be a glass folding doors that open up so that they can actually continue their their studies on onto the outside and around the outside okay. so they wanted to give her a big open space like that so that they can have good access to it do you have any uh special moments of building this construction um, exciting stats uh so we've got it's uh it's about 6300 square feet uh, the actual space is wow. within the gym area, the, the lab area itself. It's a little over 5,000. Um, there's uh, around 20 tons of steel that, that was installed. Um, nice. Probably around um, 100 workers have worked on it, on just this aspect of the building alone. Any, there's usually anywhere from 12 to 15 uh, in, in the area at a time. Right now they're, they're taking their lunch break, uh, so it's a little light, but right. yeah. And I imagine this was unique for them to work on as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I think it's, we had a lunch for them last week just as a celebration thank you lunch. And um, one thing we tried to relate to them is how important the work that Scottish Rite does, how important it is for the children and all the research y'all do. And, and I think the point came across of how special a place Scottish Rite is and everything that y'all do. Well, thank you so much. I think those are some great construction updates. We appreciate sure. it. Now I want to introduce you to Kirsten Tolchin Francis, Director of Division of Hello. Movement Science. Yes, Did I you. get that right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about what this means, why it's important for you guys to know what's happening out here at our Frisco campus. Why don't we walk inside? Great. Kirsten, what is movement science? So movement science, uh, we're a special part of our research department and our clinical services as well. Um, we use motion capture technology, which is the same technology they use to make video games and, right. and movie special effects. And we use it to understand how children move and how they function, um, how they perform sports, in, in this case, um, for this lab. So uh, we really use it to help the doctors come up with the best treatment plans. Um, on how to best serve our patients, and then also to find out, well, you know, what are the outcomes of our of our of our treatments, or um, how much better are we making our patients? So you guys touch all different types of the treatment process for absolutely. our kids. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And so, what is some of the equipment that's going to be inside here? This is a really big space. Yeah, this is a really big space. So we're going to have um, a multi-camera motion capture system. So it'll be 14 cameras. Um, wow. Set it around this room, and those cameras are special. They don't. They're not like regular video cameras they don't see the patients we put small reflective markers on the patient they go in the lab as they move we can create 3d renderings of each person and how they 
how they're moving and how they're um, cutting, running, jumping. Um, and then we'll also have special plates in the floor that measure the amount of force that you exert on the, on the ground. And from those two things combined, we can say how much power does a patient um, generate in their ankles when they're jumping up and down? How much power does this patient generate at their hip when they're jumping up and down? So it gives us a lot of great information about you know, how they're moving and how they're doing. And what are going to be some of the differences or similarities even between the Dallas campus movement science lab and this movement science lab? Well, I think the highlight of this lab is, is sports medicine. You know, this is going to be our anchor here, sports medicine. So we designed this space specifically with sports medicine in, in mind. Um, we made it big. We made it more like a gymnasium. So they can run. They can cut. Um, if we have a patient who is a volleyball player who has a shoulder injury, she can literally serve a ball in here. It's going to be having high enough ceilings. Those were really the upgrades that we did from our, our main campus. Um, that is a smaller room, and we weren't able to do those sports-specific activities. Um, the equipment will be very similar. We'll have some studies that overlap between campuses, but the majority of our sports stuff will be up here. And that's really when we designed this, what we had in mind. All right, so that makes sense. The reason why there's such high ceilings and you can really bring equipment yes. in here for them to essentially play with Absolutely. and see how they're moving actually within their sport. Sure, we can even set up like a pitching mount in there and have um, some little league cars come in and throw for us. So it's gonna be really exciting. Yeah, what are some of the things that you guys are most looking forward to? You mentioned the volleyball, swinging, like what are yeah. some of the things that we see with our athlete patients? Right, I think that some, some of the areas that we'll really be focusing on are probably uh, ACL injuries. You know, okay. not only uh, how patients do after ACL, but what can we do for injury prevention? What can we do to help identify which patients are at risk for an ACL injury? And that way we can maybe prevent the injury from occurring in the first place. So uh, ACL injuries, knee injuries, uh, concussion. I'm doing a lot of research in concussion with um, how kids can come back from concussion and um, how long those symptoms last and when they're ready to return to play. And can you also talk to us about, you guys play a big role in research. What, what does that look like? Right, so our research really focuses on outcomes. So, you know, uh, you, you go into the doctor and you have some surgery and, and hopefully you're back to normal and better right. than before. Our goal is to actually quantify that. So how, how quickly do you get back? Um, how much improved is your performance? How much improved is your walking or cutting or running or whatever task we're looking at? Um, and it gives our doctors really great information on how well the treatments that they're doing um, are impacting their patients. And, you know, it, they make treatment decision making based on the research that we do. And and that's really uh, heartwarming for us. So, That's great. And you guys are really busy at the Dallas campus. How many patients do you guys typically see in a week? And what do you think that's going to look like up here? Yeah, so we see, we see about, you know, five to 600 patients a year down, down the main campus, uh, usually maybe 10 a week. Um, the process takes a long time. It's, it's pretty high technology, but yeah. it also takes, takes time to do. Um, I, I envision us to be just as busy, if not busier up here. You know, we've got a really busy sports medicine practice here. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of athletes out there that we can help. So it'll definitely be a, a, busy, a busy room. Oh, I can only <laughs> imagine. Is there something in your mind that you would want parents to know or athletes to know as they're kind of learning about this new facility up here? You know, that we're here to help. I mean, we're really here not only for the treatment, but like I said, part of um, injury prevention and part of um, identifying those that are at risk for injury um, and, and knowing that, you know, we do a lot of research here. So, you know, we're an important part of the hospital. Absolutely. What's it like for you to see all this coming together? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So, you know, going back four years or so when we started the process of designing with our architects HKS and then back, it's been amazing to see it go from a thought, you know, almost on a napkin right. to an architectural plan to now a building and a space. So it's very exciting. Yeah, it's just, it's even just been a few months since I've been here and com like I said, completely yes. different transformation. Coming up so. here, you know, a month ago and now seeing the, the walls up, is, right. uh, it's making this the shape really take place. So. Yeah, well, we're really looking forward to it. Thank you for being here yeah. today. And if you have any questions about our movement science lab at our Dallas campus, at the campus out here, or questions about our Frisco campus, feel free to post those in the comments below and we'll make sure to get to them. We'll see you next week.